Well, well, my friend. Well, well, well. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Kim. I also go by Kim Moon Pearl because Moon Pearl is my middle name. I remember when I was a kid, I was like, um, why is my middle name Moon Pearl? They used to say that it was because my face was round like the moon. Couple things I wanted to talk about. I have some pet peeves, specifically about movie going. Stop barking. I really hate, I don't know, no matter how many times they tell people to shut their phones off. The lights dim, you shut your phone off. Oh my god, but I forgot to like text back that other person. No, no word of a lie, I went to see a really good movie one time. She was right in front of me, so the whole time she tucked it to her face and was going on Instagram like this. Oh, that's great that your friend posted that stupid picture of herself. Can I join the movie now? Can I? Oh, you're on Snapchat now. <laughs> great. I leaned in real close and was like, put your phone away. It was just annoying me because I could see this light. You ruined this movie for me. I will remember and hate you forever, stranger with greasy hair. So second pet peeve, prime example, I went to go see Hidden Figures. Really good movie. Recommend to anyone who has not seen it yet. But I didn't realize that this would be a movie where everyone had to cheer every second that somebody stood up for themselves or gasp. Like, oh my stars. Just intense gasping anytime something racist happened. Like there was a woman in the bathroom kept referring to like your kind. It was like she was saying it as if, you know, I know that your people are struggling and it's like, okay, that's rude and racist. And the whole like audience would gasp. This still happens. It's 2017. Oh God. Anyways, regardless of that, it was mainly the fact that every single time Taraji P. Henson stood up for herself, the woman next to me would not whisper, but outright just be like, good for you. Mm-hmm. And usually followed up with a clap. Good for you. As if she can hear her through the movie, through the walls of her apartment, all the way to wherever she lives. I didn't understand why she had to keep saying it because it didn't happen once. It happened so many times. Oh my God, stop. She cannot hear you. Thank you, stupid woman sitting next to me. But I remember when Avatar came out and its trailer came out and I sat there like, uh, I need to see this movie now. When it came out, it was super, super big. Oh my God, I'm gonna say the word that everybody else says. It was hype. It was so hype. And when that first came out, I really don't like seeing movies on the days they come out because it's too busy. So I think I went the week after, which is, <laughs> just as busy. Uh, came out in the dead of winter, so if it's got those like puffy, puffy coats on, which makes you look all like bouncy like a marshmallow. When we arrived, there were like four seats left. Me and my two friends took those three, and then there was one left to my right. 20 minutes into this movie, a gentleman, no, he doesn't deserve that title, a jerk decides to enter the theater and take the last seat right next to me, take his big up coat off, which means doing this for five minutes, just elbows jutting, so I'm just sitting here like, oh my god. Not only did this person decide to come in late and rudely assault me with his elbows, but he smelled like freshly peeled clementines and one of those weird knockoff perfume stands. So when he sat down, it was like, <laughs> and then clementines. And just the combination was so nauseating. And the fact that I was seeing this movie in 3D was just killer, just too much for me to bear. So my experience for Avatar was ruined by this man. I'll never forget you, clementine. These are bathroom chats with, oh God, it's crazy, with Kimberly.